Hey YouTube, Cheyenne here, aka Chaos and Master, giving you a deck profile of my Nordic deck. I went three weeks in a row undefeated, but on the locals, not regionals. About 25 to 30 participants do this. Oh, well, let's get started. I run two, Vanditus. Very good card. Oh, we're not running at three. It is sort of like a dead drop, but anyway. Her effect, you can substitute her for any of the Polo Gods tuner. And her other effect is she could dump any Nordic monster from the deck to the grave and mimic our level. Pretty much. I only use him to bring out Thor because it's kind of pointless bringing out the other two, Loki and Thor. I bring it, I use this card to use Odin, my bad, sorry. It's kind of pointless for the other two because you can't revive the other two except Odin with this guy. To do the revival effects. Alright, anyway, next. Two Valkyries. Very good, very good card. I run it at two. I don't know why people say it's instant Odin the first turn because you kind of need a face up monster on your opponent's side of the field to even attempt to effect. But technically, it is kind of your first turn if you're going second. Which I love her because she combos extremely well with Great Keeper Spy. Yes, I run Great Keeper Sky. Either you just set your opponent attack with the attack, and on the next turn you flip, bring her another one. I'm gonna summon her and you got your Thor. Oh, look, you got your Odin right there. Instant Odin, pretty much. With just two cards as opposed to three. Next, your heart of the deck. Tan Joster. I run three. Pretty simple effect. When he's changed to defense to attack or flip to attack, you special summon a Nordic Beast and face up defense. The harder effect is when a monster is, sent, is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon him from your hand. Pretty cool. I like. Two tank it is near. I run two, not three. It's a fact, when you destroy a battle sent to the grave, special summon two level three tokens and face up. Oh, well, that has to be face up, a special summon. Um, special summon two level three Nordic beast tokens. You, the tokens are not limited to anything, so you can sacrifice them, tribute them, whatever you want. One gold facts, this deck revolves around bringing out Odin the most, not Thor, so I run one. Two Super Nova Mega Hamster, pretty good. They were, they complement each other. This is a really good card in this deck, since most of them are beasts. One Raiko, I run at one. I pretty much use it to destroy annoying cards like Grey Keeper. Just feel spell for Grey Keeper and stuff. One Morphing Jar, got this off of eBay, fifty bucks. Um, since most of your cards, or if not all of them, you set them anyway, people never expect hitting a morphing jar, or next turn flipping to a morphing jar, so they don't set all their back row, which is pretty, pretty cool on my part. And three, effect waiters. Not one, not two, but three. One's not enough. Two, it's alright. Three, I thought it was too many, but I started using three, and it's awesome. Now for your spell lineup, not too many. We have six. One pot of duality. Um, you can run it at two, three is too much. I just run one. One monster reborn, staple. Two MST, back row hate. One limited book of moon, because it's limited. And one giant tuna, because this card wins games. Now for your trap lineup. Two solemn warnings, if you can afford it, buy two. It's what's kind of right to get semi-limited because this card is broken. Then your other card, Solemn Judgment. One, because it's limited, stops anything besides monster effects. One, Mirror Force, staple. One, Compulsive Evacuation Device. Got this off of eBay also for 20 bucks. Super. Ooh. I run three Glyphnir, the Feathers of Fenfer, just because of the Valkyrie Great Keeper Spy combo. One turn to tribute, kind of stable. One bottle in this trap hole. One deep prison. One seven toes the bandit. I'm considering running two, but one is working just fine. And two trap stuns, mainly because you definitely do not want your gods getting negated when they're coming to the field, because then they're technically not successfully special summon, and you cannot revive them through their own effects, which is whack. So next, your extra deck. You got two. You got two Odin's, father of the S here. Your main sinker of the deck. Your beater. Very good effect. His effect is at any time you can activate his effect. You make him immune to spell and traps. 
very handy. And when he is destroyed, that at uh, that end phase, remove a tuner, special summon him, draw card. Very awesome. One Thor, because I told you this deck revolved around summoning Odin the most. Thor is just a backup, I guess. One Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, dual terminal, yay. 130 on eBay. Ah, oh, jeez, my wallet. Very good effect. If he doesn't know what he does, when he's special summoned successfully, when he's sick or summon, the same thing. Activate the fight to remove from play one card on each from your opponent's hand, field, and grave. The one in the hand is chosen at random. Very good card. Mistworm, this deck goes easily to level 9. It's not even funny. One Scrap Dragon. Two Stardust. One Colossal. This synchro wins big games. Sacred Eight. Ancient Sacred Wayward. This card is awesome. One Scrap Arachfiend. Random. Arcanine Magician, you can definitely go into Arcanine Magician. It's, it's a little complex, but it's, you definitely can. One Voltic Bike Horn, I might take this off for Catastor. And two Black Rose Dragon. I don't use Catastor nor Bionic because I never, the situation never put me in a situation. <laughs> I was never put in, into a situation when I had to summon them. Well, anyway, that's my Nordic deck. Rate, comment, subscribe, and peace, YouTube.